Growing up, my favorite sport was basketball. Now I'm not one to brag. I'm no LeBron James. I was more like the average kid, but that never stopped me from dreaming. See, it's a kid's dream that keeps them going in life. Some people dream to be pilots, others astronauts. I dreamed to be a hooper. Now the problem is, to be a hooper, you need height. I'm talking somewhere around the average height of six foot six, which is crazy because only 10% of men in the world are over six foot tall. And out of that, less than 1% are over six foot six. Now with that in mind, my parents were cool. Dad, I want to be an NBA player when I grow up. NBA player? This boy crazy. Oh really, son? Well, if you work hard, you can be anything you want to be in life, okay? Really? Nah, my dad was straight capping. Man's new ain't no way I'm making any professional league as a hooper. Don't get me wrong, I was fast, but not the fastest. I was strong, but nowhere close to the strongest. I was smart, but surely not the smartest. But my pops didn't want to crush my dream, and by giving me hope, he gave me the best gift a father could give a son. And that, my God, is where this story begins. So for this story, I'ma take you back, back to my hooping years. See, it was back in the day. Now, at the time, my brother's birthday was on the horizon. And for his birthday, my brother wanted nothing but a LeBron James jersey. See, this was when LeBron was just a rookie. I'm talking the chosen one. Yo, Tim, you think Pop's gonna buy me a LeBron James jersey? Psh, but who's money? Yeah, you right. I think I better ask mama. So my brother gets to mom's and it's promised mom's always came through. So my mom decides to buy the jersey. <laughs> I told you I'm gonna get that jersey. For real? You say yeah? Now your boy on the other hand, just like little brothers do, got a little jealous. Mom, can I have a jersey too? Why? It's not your birthday. Yeah, but I'm the one who plays basketball. Okay, fine. But you're not gonna get a gift for your birthday. Okay, cool. Not a big deal. Your boy was gonna get an early birthday gift. So mom takes us to the local mall, buys a LeBron James jersey for my brother, and a Kobe jersey for your boy. Cause you know, Kobe. Ah! Fast forward a few years, and it's the LeBron James The Decision. Now, for the uninformed, the decision was an ESPN television special in which LeBron James was to announce which team he will sign with. So we got to the living room and waited for the moment. Yo, Tim, bet LeBron staying in Cleveland. Cleveland? Psh, boy, please. Ain't nobody playing for that garbage ass team. How much you want to bet? Boy, put a hunter on it. Bet. So my brother and I shook hands, sat back, and then it happened. And this fall, I'm going to take my talents to South Beach and uh, join the Miami D. Oh, this man's a snake snake. He dipping out on Cleveland to join D Wade and Boss. Oh, he. Now, you gotta understand, my brother was a bronze sexual. Man slept on bronze sheets, put on bronze jammers, probably even dreamt about LeBron James. So, this was betrayal to the core. I told you, homie, was soft. <laughs> man, shut up. LeBron ain't soft. Man, he's softer than his silicon titty. So, after the TV show, I put up to my brother. Yo, Lim, give me my money, kid. What money? Whoa, stop playing, kid. You made the bet. What bet? Now, I started getting pissed. See, man's was being a sore loser and not keeping his word. Fam, if you don't hand me my money, we gonna have issues. Whatever. So my brother leaves the room, goes to his bathroom, and cries like a bitch. LeBron, no. <laughs> oh, I gotta get my money back. This fool think I'm playing. So, started thinking what would be the best way to get this kid back hmm. and then i glanced at the news see on the television cleveland fans were burning lebron james jerseys Time to get some payback. So I waited until my brother got to the shower, went to his room, and got his favorite jersey. Then I went to the kitchen, got a lighter, got to the back, and lit that be up on flame. Yeah. <laughs> now that's what you get. <laughs> then my brother gets out the shower, gets downstairs. Yo, Lamb, 
You saw the news? Yeah, kid. Down here burning LeBron James jersey. Oh, is that right? You still keeping your LeBron James jersey, right? What? You know I rocks with LeBron. Matter of fact, I will put it on right now. So my brother gets to his room, checks the closet, and finds the jersey missing. Oh, no, 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 no. It was right here. No, not my LeBron jersey. Wait a minute. Tim did it. So my brother comes back. Yo, Tim, give me my jersey. What jersey? I'm not playing. Well, give me my money. What money? Like I said, what jersey? Now, since my brother wasn't giving up my money, I decided it's time to let the man feel my pain. Oh, you mean the LeBron James jersey? You might want to check the back. Oh, God, no. So my brother gets to the back, and the man says his jersey burned to the crisp. Damn, I'm going to kill you. Now, it's on. My brother comes back to the room. Oh, I'm going to put hands on you. Do it then. <laughs> Okay, yo, you got it. Nah, you gonna pay, kid. Damn, I was just playing. I put the jersey in my room. What? See, the whole time, your boy took the jersey, flipped it with a plain t-shirt, and burnt the t-shirt to a crisp. That way, I will prank my brother into thinking I burnt his favorite jersey. So my brother gets to my room, opens the closet, and finally finds his jersey. And that, my God, is what's called payback. <laughs> of the story a real man keeps his word if he says he's going to do it he gets it done because in life if you can't honor your words don't use it